Cavaliers, happy August and welcome to the August 11th rendition of 5 Minutes with Ford. It's been a long time since our last airing, but our notes have built up and it's been time to uh, come, on, come on the air and share some of the information uh, and provide some updates on what's been taking place here at the park over the summer. Joining me on my right is Mr. Kretschy. Mr. Kretschy is our new vice principal. Uh, we'll get to Mr. Kretschy in just a minute. Uh, but for now, I want to give a shout out to all of those who have been working super hard over the summer, uh, especially our front office staff, child study team, uh, the business office. Uh, our technology department is preparing student and staff devices for the opening of the school. And Mr. Kretschy and myself uh, have been doing some scheduling work and, and some other things to prepare the building for a uh, safe and exciting opening for our students and staff. Also, special, special shout out to our maintenance department who has been working very, very hard day in and day out uh, to prepare the building for re-entry and to provide our students and our staff and our community with a building that they can be proud that they go to school in. Uh, also, a shout out to Mrs. Schwartz who has been uh, serving as a resource to our students all summer long. And uh, without any further ado, let's get to Mr. Kretschy. If you could, Mr. Kretschy, just give uh, everybody a, a little, tell everybody a little bit about you and what uh, is exciting you about the next uh, few weeks. Well, thank you, Mr. Ford. Yeah, it's been a quick summer so far here at Summerdale. Coming from a district where I taught for 12 years, I'm uh, extremely excited and honored to be here uh, working with the administration, student, staff, community of Somerdale Park. Like Mr. Ford said, we've been working on some scheduling, uh, preparing students and staff for returning to school in September, and I couldn't be more excited. Awesome. Uh, we're very excited to have you on board. Uh, Mr. Crutchy was part of a very competitive uh, interview process in which we received over 100 applicants uh, and we are excited to have Mr. Crutchy join our community. We believe that he's going to be a good fit with our students, with our staff, and with our parents. Uh, so we're excited uh, to get him in the mix and have him become part of our uh, school community. Also, just a side note, as you can see on Mr. Crutchy's right arm, uh, he tore his bicep tendon the first week he was on board here in early July, uh, but that has not stopped him. He's worked through it, and uh, he's even though hurt in the bicep, uh, it has not affected his uh, ability to think, impressively, uh, ability to type, and he has even even ordered a left-handed mouse and has uh, become familiar with its operation. Uh, new to the school uh, this year, at last night's Board of Education meeting, uh, the board approved a new dress code that we will be implementing. Uh, major things to point out is that yoga pants, spandex, and leggings will no longer be permitted this year as outerwear. Of course, they could be worn under hold jeans uh, so that skin is not exposed, but as opposed to last year when students could wear uh, those types of bottoms, as so long as it was uh, covered appropriately by a proper length top, uh, that will no longer be acceptable this year. So leggings, uh, yoga pants, and spandex will not be acceptable as outerwear. Uh, students in K-5, to uh, however, will be allowed to wear uh, cotton-styled pants, is how it's worded in the dress code. Uh, just want to make sure I'm hitting on everything. Also, this year, as part of the dress code, students in grades six through eight will be required to change for gym class. Uh, there will be a gym uniform that has been approved. It will be for available for purchase through the school store only. And uh, that is available and can be accessed on the school website. There are icons in the middle of the main page, one of which says PE Uniform uh, School Store. Uh, students in grades six through eight will be required to change into the school uniform and will not be allowed to wear the school uniform, uh, gym PE Uniform to school. They'll have to change into it. 
Uh, so that will be open, school store open until the 26th of August, Mr. Cratchy. And those placing an order prior to the 26th of August will have their order delivered during the first week of school. From there, uh, the school store will work in one week openings. So if you place an order uh, during that week, it then takes about a week and a half for the uniform to arrive. So please, parents of students in grades six through eight, get to the school website, get to the online school store and place uh, your order for the physical education uniform that will be required for students this year so that they're ready to go for the return to school. Uh, Mr. Crutchy, kindergarten orientation, you want to touch on that? Kindergarten orientation is Wednesday, August 30th, 9 o'clock sharp uh, here at Somerdale Park. We are extremely excited to meet our incoming kindergarten students. Staff will be here welcoming them uh, with um, some activities to go along with our orientation that day. We should end about 1045. Excellent. And this is uh, our kindergarten CAV class of 2032. 2032. Unbelievable. Uh, we have a excellent crew of kindergarten teachers again this year. Returning is uh, Somerdale Park School Hall of Famer, Ms. Priolo, uh, Hall, uh, Somerdale Park School All-Star, Ms. McGinnis, and we have a new kindergarten teacher uh, this year named Mrs. Korn, uh, who will all be present at the kindergarten orientation to meet the students and the parents. And Mr. Crutchy and I will then be around and we'll take the parents on a tour of the school. And we will eventually end up in a location, maybe the cafeteria or the library, where we will have several school resources available to uh, present different topics to parents and, and answer some of the questions that we know parents have on their mind. And, and as part of uh, those resources, who do we have, Mr. Crutchy? Um, the PTA will be here that day. Right. Uh, we have our after school program as well. Our kindergarten teachers, administrators will be in the building. Uh, it'll be, a, um, everyone will be here lending a helping hand. Right. We'll also have an opportunity. Uh, Mrs. Dow, Hall of Fame school right. nurse, will be there to answer any questions parents may have uh, regarding medication or any important information that Mrs. Dow has to pass along as far as what she needs on file uh, for record prior to the beginning of the school year. Our school counselors will also be available uh, during that day and they'll introduce themselves. And uh, our cafeteria staff, that's, that's a big cafeteria one. staff, it is a big one, will be there to answer any questions parents have about uh, how their children will get lunch and how they can pay or how they can pay in advance or how they can fill out any forms for uh, to receive any free or reduced lunch. Any questions that they may have that pertains to our food service. So we're hoping uh, that that is going to be a nice action-packed event for both uh, parents from an informative end and also um, provide the students an opportunity to just get in the building for the first time and relieve any of that, uh, any of the stress Those and first worries. Age that, yeah, the first aid jitters that come with, with the unknown. Uh, so that again, what's the date and time on that, Mr. Crutchy? Wednesday, August 30th, nine o'clock sharp a.m. Perfect. Information is on the website. Yep, visit the website, become familiar with the website. Oh, before we sign off, I got one more thing, a huge date. This coming Monday, the 14th of August, Mr. Crutchy, you know what it is? I think I do. What is it? I think the schedules go live. We're going live with the schedule, that's correct. Uh, students and parents will be able to find out who their teachers are, and in order to do that, uh, parents must complete the annual registration process uh, or through On Course Connect. Once they do so and complete all of the information and questionnaires that we need for our records to begin the new school year, uh, the schedule will be released and parents and students can begin to get excited about the teachers that they'll have for the upcoming year. It's an exciting time. Definitely an exciting time. And another thing that just came to my mind, Mr. Crutchy, I want to throw out there before we sign off. Uh, again, visit the website because school uh, supply lists are on there. So uh, parents and students can get out and pick up all the necessary supplies for a specific teacher or a particular grade level. And as well as the summer reading 
outlines, which uh, should have been visited a couple months ago, but if not, still some time to do that. Mr. Crutchy, this is your first signing off. I'm going to lay this one up for you. Thank you, everyone. Happy August, the Sunday of summer. We're three and a half weeks away. Enjoy what remains. And as always, go Cavs. Go Cavs.